YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Thirsty Thursday. This week we're going to be doing Java Monster Coffee Plus Energy. And we're going to be doing a taste off between these ones. We'll see which one we like the best. And they range in calories and they range probably in taste. We've got Loco Moco, Mean Bean and Vanilla Light. I've heard a lot about the Mean Bean. Uh, I haven't heard much about these two, uh, although one of Ben's friends said he liked, he tried this one and he didn't like it. So this one is 100 calories. This is 220 and this is 230. So if you're looking to save calories and get some caffeine, this is the one you want. Although this one only has uh, 99 milligrams of caffeine and this one, has a lot more, 170 milligrams of caffeine and 170. So these ones have more caffeine, but less calories and less caffeine. So it's up to you what you want. Once again, guys, leave comments in the comment section below as to if you've tried these and which one you like the best. Cause I'm curious, I'm always curious as to what you guys like. I put these videos out for you, but when it comes right down to it, you'd make your own decisions. Oh, I knew it. They're all going to look like coffee, like a double-double. Some people don't know what double-double is. A double-double coffee is, coffee is like black, like Coca-Cola, non-carbonated, obviously. As soon as you add cream or milk, it turns into this color. So uh, usually that's like a double-double is what we call it. So it's two creams and two sugars in your coffee. And I bet they're all pretty much identical. This one is definitely lighter. And this one, I don't know. Let's go, let's say it's gonna be lighter in, in, in looks. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like a watered down version. As I was pouring that, it just seemed watered down. Just looking at them, this one definitely looks darker. Nope, they all look the same. <laughs> From the angle, the, the glass is making them look different. I don't know, I keep getting these shadows. I can't tell. So if they all look the same in color, what do you think? I think they all do. This one looks definitely like it's watered down of these. So let's give it a shot. Let's go up this time. We'll start with the light and we'll work our way up. I don't know if I should put these cans in the back or in front. Okay, here we go. It smells like coffee. Actually, it smells, it smells like a coffee shop. As soon as you walk into a Starbucks, a second cup, any of those coffee shops, uh, Timothy's, this is what it smells like. Very nice. Tastes like a really sweet, more than double double, uh, very, very syrupy tasting, but coffee for sure, like mocha. This is the mean bean. The know what's really funny is this one is not as sweet as this one. This one almost tastes watered down from that one. Very strange. I'm thinking I'm going to like this one the most just because it has more calories in it. So this one is, wow, what a difference. This one's the strongest coffee flavored one. This is a weaker coffee flavored one. And that's the weakest flavored one, but the sweetest one. So whatever sweetener they put in there uh, is sweeter than the sugar ones. If that's what they're using, I guess there's different kinds of sweeteners that they put in these things. Now, I guess the question is, which one would I buy again? So I'm gonna do another quick run through. If I was on a drive and I didn't want a coffee because it's the afternoon, because I like coffee in the morning, that's pretty much it. So I'm on a long drive going down through the States or driving across Canada and I need a picker up, a pick me up, some caffeine. Uh, and I had to buy one of these three if I wanted to save on calories because I'm sitting on my butt for hours on end, I'd probably buy this one. Yeah. 
Wow. What a hard decision. Man. I think I'm going to go with, this is uh, the strongest out of the flavors. This one is, I think, the one I would buy more than the other one. So Mean Bean wins this contest for my taste buds only. You guys make your own decisions. Like I said, if you wanted to save 100 and whatever calories, that's the one I would choose. Uh, just to give you an idea, a beer has 120 calories in it. And all of these, except this one, uh, has this one has uh, 10 calories less, 20 calories less. Uh, but these ones are almost double a beer. Just to give you an idea how, and a Coke, I think, is a can of Coke, which is obviously smaller, I think is 160 calories. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, guys, so there you go. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. And we will talk to you next week. And I promise a whole bunch of you guys want me to do like, a whole gamut array of Pepsi products. So I'm gonna do four, I'm gonna to try to get the Pepsi Max or next, I'll get the Max, I'll get a diet one, I already know I don't like the diet one anyway, but I'll get it if I can find it. So I'll do four uh, Pepsis versus each other. All right guys, once again, thank you very much for watching, you guys rock, and we'll talk to you next week on Thirsty Thursdays. Ken out. A couple years ago, when I before I started drinking coffee, I was looking for a replacement from energy drinks and, oh, sorry, what was I doing? Let me start again. Let me start again! What are you looking at? Silly cat. And this is a drink off between its own kind, really. So we're going to be doing uh, lots of stuff and I'm gonna scratch my ass. Yeah. People like bloopers, so I'll make them. <laughs> uh, 230 calories oh my goodness oh my gosh let's start again